Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're talking about authentication within your website. So being able to know who is logged in and then potentially providing them specific permissions even on your site. Uh, so this is something that's very hard to do if you try and run it yourself. There's a lot of gotchas, a lot of work. Um, much better to have your framework provide it or an external provider. In this case, we're going to be looking at Auth0, which will provide all of this for us out of the box and very quickly. Uh, we're going to be using a Gatsby React website. Um, before we jump in though, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click that subscribe button below. Uh, change the alert icon to all for future videos. All right, let's create our website to start with. So we're going to do a React Gatsby website. Um, so we'll create a new one here. And we'll just call it Auth. And we'll take the Gatsby starter default. This takes a couple of minutes to run. I'll just speed this up. Okay, with that in place, we can just come into this folder here. We'll open up Visual Studio Code and kick off our development environment. So, like that should get the website up in a second. Here's our code and our main page. Uh, so we'll be adding a like we're going to have a um, a login button on here, and then a um, a welcome and the name of the user and a logout as well. So. Let's go in, we'll let that run in the background for a second. Um, it'll take a couple of seconds. So let's go and look at Auth0. So if you type Auth0.com in, you'll get this page and we can come and sign up. Um, so let's sign up in here. A shot of code test five. Uh, there has been a couple of runs at this. Um, and we should be able to give that a password. Oh, I need um, we need that there and hopefully that adds it correctly there now right and then we will just click sign up Okay, and you can choose your region. We'll choose um, Australia down here. Personal website and create account. So there is a free tier on here. Uh, if it um, pro provides enough functionality, then you can use this for free. Uh, and then there's paid tiers as well. Uh, right, so once we're coming in here, we can go into applications on the side and create an application. Now we get a, a nice selection down here and we're, we're using React, we're using a single page. You can see it's Angular React View View down here. So it's gonna set it up nicely for our scenario. So we're gonna click Create on there. Uh, and again, I can choose React down here. Uh, and then it's gonna give us a, a set of steps to actually perform this integration. So I'm gonna scroll down here. We want to get the app keys. We can do that one in a second. Um, and we want to set up the callback URLs. We'll come back to that one in a second. Because um, then it starts talking about actually installing the SDK here. So let's get Auth0 installed. So if I just copy that line there. Um, okay, I'll come out of our development bundle actually. And we can do npm install Auth0, Auth0 React. That will bring that library in for us. Um, if I come back, I need that one there. Um, and then you're straight into straight into adding the code here now. Then so we kind of want to wrap our root object with this so that everything is protected. Um, so if I just grab this whole thing here, come back in and look at our page, our index page. Um, I want to try and put this around it. Um, so let's. Um, let's paste that in because I want to keep all those imports. We won't need React and React DOM because we've got those already. Well, there is a little bit of a mismatch now, and I've got stars React. We'll see. We'll see how that complains about React DOM. 
We'll keep React on, but get rid of React, I guess. Right, and then we're going to put... Um, in fact, hopefully I can just get rid of React DOM as well. Because I'm not going to be using this render part. I just want the auth provider to be wrapped around my app. So let's nuke all of that. And then around the layout, I want this auth provider. So I can just cut that out. Come down the bottom. And we don't need app because layout is our app. We don't need the comma. Right, so we've basically imported um, from the sample and we've got this auth0 provider and we have wrapped our complete application with that provider. And you can see it's got a domain and client ID. Now these are not secrets, so they don't need to be hidden or anything, but we do need to grab them from our new application because um, when we we'll call from our app out to the external auth zero website and we'll pass these details so it'll know who is trying to connect um, so if I scroll back up um, and go into application settings then if I go into uh, I think we just called it my app then when I did. I didn't change the name of it, did I? That's fine. My app is the one we're using. So I've got a domain. So I'll copy the domain and just paste that in here. Like so. Oh it's actually it's actually plugged in our our details already. Uh that's that's quite cool. I'll just check that, that is true. Yep, that looks right. So those details are already um, the correct ones from the sample that we downloaded. That's quite cool. Um, so right, let's go back again here now and back again to the, these steps that we've got to follow. So we've installed the SDK. We've wrapped our component. Let me go back to it. Yeah, slowly, kind of. All right, where were we? So we got the app keys because it did that for us. The domain and client ID. Still got to set up these URLs. We'll do that in a second. We've installed it. We've wrapped it. Um, okay, that's fine. Uh, right now, let's add the login button. So we can grab this code here, and we'll create a login component. So in our components, let's do. Um, well, let's just copy one. Copy header and we'll call it um, login. So I'll come back and copy this again. And then in login, we can place most of that. We don't need React. We do need the auth and we don't need that. Uh, right, so that's our that's our login button. Don't need any of those. Um, so back in our main page, we can uh, import this login button. Like so. Uh, and that should be should be fairly happy with that. And then we can just place that login button. Um, let's just put it near the top at the moment. We haven't really got a, um, a menu bar, I don't think. But we can just put it there. Just under home. Um, and so it's login button, isn't it? Uh, like so. All right, let's go back to the website. Um, so we got our login button, and and that will be working in that part there. Then we'll have a log out button. Um, so let's do similar for this. Um, so we'll just copy login again, and that's going to be log out. And we'll copy this log out code. We'll just need this part here. Um, so we got log out. 
save that off and then we'll import that one as well. All right, and we're gonna to want to have them, what only one of them is showing, but let's just put it in here for the moment. And we'll come back to that. Uh, and then we've got a user profile. So once we're logged in, we'll be able to pull back various information about the user and this can this component can then um, provide show that for us. So let's copy that and we shall copy the logout one and we'll do profile. Let me just copy it again. So we're in profile and that's all fine. Okay, all good. And then we import profile. Like so, and let's put that in here. Okay. Okay, back to off. I think we've copied in everything we need there. The last thing we need to configure is back at the top, it talks about these callback URLs. So from Gatsby, we'll call to um, of zero, and then it needs to know where to call back. Um, and so we need to provide that. We don't send that with the with the call, so we need to set it up within of zero itself. Um, so let's go applications, go into my new application and scroll down here and we've got allowed callback URLs. Um, so for our test here, we're going to be on localhost um, 8000. Now, I don't know if it's going to be um, HTTP or HTTPS, so I'm just going to put both in. like so. So our callback URL is going to be that, our logout URLs, our origins. So those three we need to specify and then down the bottom we just save those off. Okay. And I think that, I think that is the crux of it. So let's, um, let's get our website up. Yeah, this takes a second, I'll speed it up. Uh, can't resolve profile. Uh, I'll speed this bit up because I've obviously got a typo somewhere. Once I find it, we'll be back. Ah, okay, yes, all of these are resolving wrong because they are up one directory. Thank you very much. Okay. Right, I think that might have succeeded, has it? Let's have a look. All right, so here is our... Um, I could have put these buttons up on the top here, um, but they're fine down here. Um, and like I say, we'd want to only show one when you're logged in and, and not show the other. Um, but if we now click on the login button here, it should now redirect to of zero, which it has. Um, now as a, as a user, we would now then come in and sign up to the website. So we would do a sign up. Um, that would look fine. We could use that information. Um, yep, let's go with that. And you would say accept. Uh, and then that's it. It's signed us in. Um, you could now, as the website developer, you could now look at 
um, using that ID and store that away in the database if you need to use any certain permissioning or remember certain details about the user like their cart or in the shopping cart application or something because um, we've got their, uh, their user ID here um, and we can simply log back out with this button and it goes back to the main site so that is the, the very basics of setting up authentication um, very quick and and very easy as I say uh, and then you don't have to worry about all of the password strengths um, forgotten passwords um, you know any any of any of these sort of you know two-factor authentication anything of this to do with security you don't want to be dealing with yourself um so yeah auth zero is a very uh very good and quick option to add that to your website uh, there you go hope that was interesting thanks for watching uh give me a thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if not and i'll catch you next time bye